because of the growth of cellular communications and the internet. Certain stocks hold the prospect of substantially above average revenue and earnings growth. AT&T and Nokia, as an example, earn respectable margins and return on common equity and would seem to fit Berkshire's criteria from a financial perspective. Has Berkshire reviewed stocks in the area of communications? Yeah, there's certainly no, no question that amazing things have happened in communications. It's interesting that you mention AT&T because AT&T's return on equity over the last 15 years has been, you know, has been very, very poor. Now, they've had special charges time after time and said don't count this, but uh, the, the overall return on equity, if you, if you calculate it for AT&T for the last 15 years, uh, it's, it's, it's not been good at all. They were the, you know, they, they were the leader in the field, but so far what has happened is, has hurt them, uh, at least relative to their competition, uh, far more than it's helped them. We have, a, we have a fellow on our board, Walter Scott, who's right here in the front row, if I can, can't quite see him, but uh, who knows a lot more about this. He used to try to explain to me these changes that were taking place. We'd ride down to football games on Saturday, and Walter would patiently explain to me like he was talking to a sixth grader what was going to happen in communications. And the problem was that he had a fourth grader in the car with him, namely me. <laughs> so I never got it, but Walter did. And uh, he's done very well in MFS and Level 3. And, he, and I think for people who understand it uh, and are reasonably early, you know, there could very well be substantial money to be made. There's been an awful lot of money made in this town of Omaha by people not one of them. And, I have no insights that I bring to that game that I think are in any way superior and in probably many cases not even equal to, to those of other participants. Uh, it's, there's a lot of difference between making money uh, and, and spotting a wonderful industry. Um, you know, they, the, the two most important industries in, in the first half of this century in the United States, in the world probably with the auto industry and the airplane industry. I mean, here you have these two discoveries, both in the first decade, essentially in the first decade of, of the century. And if you'd foreseen in 1905 or thereabouts what the auto would do to the world, let alone the, or this country, or what the airplane would do, you might have thought that uh, it was a great way to get rich. But very, very few people got rich by being, by riding the back of that auto industry and probably even fewer got rich by, by, by participating in the airline industry over that time. I mean, millions of people are flying around every day, but the number of people who have made money carrying them around is very limited. And the, the capital has been lost in that business, the bankruptcies, it's, it's, been a, it's been a terrible business. It's been a marvelous industry. So you do not want to necessarily equate uh, the prospects of growth for an industry with the prospects for growth in your own net worth by participating in it. Charlie? Well, it reminds me of a time in World War II when there were these two aircraft officers I knew, and, and uh, they didn't have anything to do at the time. And some general came in to visit, and he said to one of them, he says, Lieutenant Jones, what do you do? And he says, I don't do anything. And he turned to the second one, and he says, what do you do? And he says, I help Lieutenant Jones. <laughs> That's been my contribution on communications investments. <laughs> you can address me as Lieutenant Jones for the rest of the meeting. At the <laughs> yeah. And so some people have thanked us for providing this meeting. I want to thank you because the quality of the, I think we have the best shareholders meeting in the country, and, and the quality of the meeting is absolutely a uh, in direct proportion to the quality of the shareholders. And, and, uh, we would have nothing without this participation, and I, I, I really thank you. It's a big effort to come here for a lot of you, and I, and I thank you for that. Our plan, incidentally, will be to take a break at noon. Uh, they have uh, a lot of food outside uh, that they will sell you. <laughs>